Welcome back. We're now going to continue our case study of fast simulation of heat transfer using C sharp and OpenCL. We've shown a demonstration where we showed a simulation of heat transfer, how to change initial conditions using the mouse, and how to change the heat conductivity on the fly. Basically, changing the heat conductivity will change how fast the plane plate will go to its steady state configuration. Let's now go over the topics of this video tutorial. First of all, I am going to present some prerequisites that I consider to be necessary for the full understanding of this video tutorial. Then I'm going to present an overview of the physics of heat conduction. This is going to, this is going to be just some basic equations and uh, how uh, a little bit of intuition about the problem. Then we will go on to finite differences discretization of the problem. That is, how, how, is it, how is it that we actually use the heat equation how do we turn the heat equation into something we can simulate using a computer? After that, we're going to take a bit of a detour and revisit how to share OpenCL and OpenGL objects. That is, we want to draw the picture that represents the distribution of temperature directly in in GPU memory, we don't want to transfer data forth and back. Then we will go on to computing color representation of intensities and build a, build a function to, to create a color representation of scalar values. After that, we will have the tools we need to simulate the system and display a temperature distribution to the user. Finally, we're going to analyze how, how is the OpenCL code, um, the host code, host c -sharp code, and also the OpenCL C99 code, which gets compiled and executed on the GPU and see how that works. And we're going to, to get to some final conclusions and next steps. What else can you, can you do? using this OpenCL, OpenGL simulation. For instance, it would be possible to simulate with some adaptation the, the wave equation, another part, partial differential equation. Okay, so now what are some prerequisites for this video tutorial? I'm going to assume that you have a working knowledge of C or C sharp or, or C++. It's really necessary to, to know the basics of one of these languages because we're going to use it as host code and I'm going to assume this is, this is a known knowledge. <coughs> also, it would be interesting that, the, that you had some familiarity with OpenCL data parallel algorithms and the notion of host and device code. Also, it would also be a good idea to know something about OpenGL vertex buffer objects um, and uh, image objects, because this is how we share OpenCL and OpenGL objects. If you're not very familiar with OpenGL, it, it's okay too. I'm going to try and demonstrate as we go how to how to use OpenGL objects. Also, it's, it's a good idea to know some basic calculus and some things about partial differential equations, because after all, the heat equation is a partial differential equation, or PDE, which we are going to discretize and simulate. And finally, how to share OpenCL and OpenGL objects. I'll go over a I'll go over a quick review of how to do it. But if you're unfamiliar with the, these concepts related to OpenCL, you're invited to, to read the basics 
at our OpenCL tutorial using C Sharp Clue and OpenCL template in this address right here. So now let's let's get to an overview of heat conduction. So what's the intuition of heat flow? Temperature uh, when an object is hot and another object is cold, or parts of the same object are hot and cold, like in this plate here. The top and bottom of the plate are maintained at a higher temperature. So the intuition is that heat will flow from, we know that heat will flow from the hot parts of the plate to the cold parts of the plate in blue here. But how fast is it going to happen? Well, our intuition tells us, tells us that the temperature difference and the material properties are what have the biggest influence on how fast heat flows. So the, the bigger the temperature, the difference in temperature, and the more uh, conductivity, heat thermal conductivity the material has, the faster heat will flow from hot parts of the plate, shown right here, to the cold parts of the plate, shown right here. And so we have the, the heat equation, which is, which is the mathematical formalization of this intuition. This says that the rate of change of temperature in a given point is proportional to the conductivity of the material and also to the Laplacian of the temperature. We're not going to go into uh, many mathematical details, but believe me, this captures the intuition that it, there is a dependency on the properties of the material in this alpha parameter here, and also it depends on the on the difference, on the temperature difference, which is captured by this Laplacian factor. In the next videos, we're going to analyze how to use, how to discretize this equation in order to be able to simulate in a digital computer. Um, okay, this is the, the end of this overview.